In the wastelands of Fallout, there's lots of things that you need to be worried about. Everything from the Death Claws to Mire Lurks to Ghouls and to Super Mutants. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint Super Mutant's best friend, the Super Mutant Hound. Hey guys, welcome to Dice Junkies Paint Lab. My name is Tim from Elder Jasha Studios. And if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy learning how to paint, do different things, see this type of stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, people always say that man's best friend is the dog. Well, the super mutants, they have a best friend too, and that is a super mutant hound. They are horrible creatures that just get in there and they can scout for the super mutants and they are particularly vicious in Fallout Wasteland Warfare. That's the miniature that we're going to be working with today, the super mutant hound from Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Now I've gone over in some of my previous videos about how to use washes and dry brushing. Today we are going to be using a little bit of washing, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on layering for highlights. We'll use the washes to add that shadow in and add a little bit of a tone, but we're also going to be using some layering to bring out the highlights and make it pop. Give it that nice irradiated look that just fits within the wastelands. So here we go. So here is the Super Mutant Hound. I've gone ahead and cleaned it up, taken off all the mold lines, and using my airbrush, I have primed the entire thing gray. We're going to start off with a lighter color. This is actually going to be from Vallejo's game color line, Khaki. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover the entire thing with a small base brush. Be sure to get in all the nooks and crannies on this. Uh, it's a very well detailed model, uh, so we got to get that bone structure. After going over the model one time with a semi-thin coat, you're going to want to go over the entire thing again. Really make sure that you get a good coverage. Next, I mixed Army Painter's Scaly Hide with what I had left of the khaki. And this time using a uh, more... Uh, it's got a little bit better bristles brush on this one. Uh, it's going to hold a little bit more paint. I thinned it down and I'm just going to go over the tops of the muscles. What we want to do is we're actually going to underlay. Uh, from from all of our other layers that we're going to put on top of this and That way this green is going to show through everything else that we put And again just go over the entire model with this but be sure to only hit the high non-recessed parts got that we'll go ahead and let this dry for a minute now that we're back we're going to start our first bit of washing so for this one I'm using my normal wash brush kind of an older but uh, still a decently good brush and I'm going over this with Citadel's Athonian Camo Shade. This is a, a darker, almost like a, a military green wash. And I'm going to go over the entire skin part of the mini. Now, unlike we've done in the past, we don't want a lot of pooling with this. We do want it to get into the recessed areas, and it is going to pool. But you want to kind of thin that out a little bit. You don't want a lot of hard lines just enough to give it that shade. Now 
That looks pretty good. So after doing that, we'll go ahead and start on the mouth. So for this one, I'm going to be using P3's Sanguine Highlight. I'm going to go all over the tongue, the inside of those jowls and mouth area. Next, we're going to go with Vallejo's Bone White. Go ahead and get the teeth. And then we're back, while that dries, on our next layer of wash. So for this one, now that everything's dry, I'm actually going to go over the entire mini with this wash. It's Agrax Earthshade Brown, and it is going to darken up the skin, darken up the teeth, the mouth, pretty much everything. Alright, now we're going to start highlighting. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit darker shade than we first started with because we have toned down the color a lot on this. This is going to be Vallejo's Game Color Leather Brown. Again, be sure to thin it down until about you get a skim milk consistency. Once you've done that, we're going to hit all of the highlighted areas, anywhere where the light will touch. This is parts just to make it pop, make it look a little bit more realistic. Next, we're going to use Citadel's Flayed One Flesh for the talons and the teeth. Again, just highlighting. And then I'm actually going to use P3's Kador Red Base to do highlighting on the mouth and the tongue. Don't forget to do the gums because that is important. You don't want them to just be kind of a mute color. I'm actually going to use that same Kador red base to just barely touch the eyes. Super Mutant out Hound eyes are kind of small, so we don't need a lot of paint there. Just a little bit to make the eyes come out. Now for the cool part. I'm going to take Nurgle's Rot by Citadel and just cover the entire inside of the mouth. Now you do want to have it, it's a thick paint, so thin it down a little bit, but once that goes over everything, it'll have a nice slimy look to its mouth. After that, I went ahead and did the base. Uh, just use whatever brown and gray for the stones and the dirt. Then, I'm actually going to use a pigment. And this is just a dry pigment that I am going to dry brush over the entire base. This is going to make it look like it's actually dirt. I actually wound up going over the base and the feet uh, multiple times with this pigment, just building it up and making it just really dirty and nasty. And there you go, you've got the Super Mutant Hound from Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Now you can finish it off with little shrubs, whatever you like, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check back for more and subscribe.